This is a book called Clown that is not difficult to translate because it has no words at all except the title, which is the same in French as in English. <laughs> Angelica Sprockets Pockets Zagazoo, Daddy Lost His Head. This is one you may know because it's called The Twit. This is um, a book called Pocaille Mine au Musée. This in French is called Moi et Rien. It's me and nothing. So this is Critch, Scratch, Deep, Clapot, and this is Annie du Lac. So I, I start you doing start. that. Because I, uh, I, it's better to draw it because actually I don't know what it's called. Ah, oh, great. Wow. <laughs> it's got rough. I, to, I haven't cut my fingernails, have I? <laughs> Where are we going with this? I story? don't know. Just... Never mind. It's doing his washing. <laughs> this is what a fish should be like. Yeah. going to do today is we're going to get some of you to come on the stage again and we're going to do it in French. Can't hear you. I am a hamster. That's what I am, star. When I began this, uh, drawing the, the bear, um, I was, of course, like any other author, I was putting myself in it, so I was not thinking, oh, I'm drawing a bear. Francois was saying that in the book, Mook travels to 10 countries, but in the animated series, he travels to 21 countries. Et donc, c'était absolument pas dans le budget de la production de pouvoir visiter autant de pays. Ah. So they had no budget to actually <laughs> go to these 21 countries and make notes. How old is Mook? Did you make other books than uh, Mook? Or did you choose bike? In every place they go, he eats the local food and, and you seem to know quite a lot about what people eat at those places. Is it computer? Is it just a paint? How is it done? It's digital. Digital um, graphic tablet, and I work on Photoshop and um, Macintosh. Uh, what other brand can I say? I didn't really know what to do except kind of go, ah. This is a picture from a book called Zorg, which came out last year. This is a picture from The Highway Rat, 
Ça, c'est un, une illustration qui est tirée d'un livre qui s'appelle La Croûte. Ça, c'est une image qui est tirée d'un album, enfin d'un conte qui s'appelle Mishka. Ça, c'est une image qui est tirée d'un livre qui s'appelle Grand Loup Petit Loup. This is my new book uh, coming out in uh, March and it's about a very naughty dog called George. That's uh, my, my book, uh, 365 Penguins. It's uh, about a, a family who receive a penguin a day. In this one he's chasing poor Cat who doesn't like to play with George but George likes to play with Cat. This is a picture of um, a book called Je ne veux pas aller à l'école. It's actually in English. Uh, I don't want to go to school. This is the day that, the first day of school. This is a heap of hamsters from a book um, called A Place to Call Home. That's from a, a book called There Are No Cats in This Book. I, that was a working title, but then I forgot to change it. <laughs> this is from a collection. This is something I did recently. The first round. We're just going to let them draw whatever they like. What could happen in the story? There's a pig! There's a very juicy pig in the picture. If you look at the, the work of the people like Rolf Steadman, Jerry Scarf, um, Tony Ross, Michael Foreman also, um, all of us have some kind of debt to André Francois. After seeing drawings in Punch and elsewhere, in Lilliput and other magazines and advertising by André Francois, I had the same feelings you mm. did, David. I, oh, oh, you're allowed to do that. I just started drawing cartoons because uh, it was a way to earn money so that I could paint. Mm -hmm. And here was a chap who was uh, using a painterly approach to cartoons. But it's in, in the way, I suppose, that Picasso shows, has got all his influences on him, and yet he's always Picasso. Uh, and that's generally the same. And I think Francois, in, in this case, is uh, he's always Fran André Francois. While I was there, he had a phone call and he'd done some drawings for, I can't remember, it was Olivetti, it was one of those people he worked for. They had apparently said, could you chain, make these little changes? And he'd said, no, just send me the rejection fee. And while I was there, they rang up and said, all right, we'll take it as it is. <laughs> you know. One of the things I love about Matisse, particularly, is that his work varies so much. His interest in interiors um, also strikes a chord with me. Braque is another big influence for me. I love the way that he puts some, um, I think he was very interested in, in graphic design and illustration, and I like the way he brings in typography into his work. I used a piece of um, wood paper. I took a photograph of a bowl of peas, and everything is flat, and that again is about using type and, and illustration together. Again, that's pattern on pattern. <coughs> and that I like the idea of the people disappearing 
into the pattern behind them. In this book, sometimes I think, sometimes I am. Um, it's a rare book because it's an illustrated book for adults, not for children, and it's a collection of quotations. Um, and there's a few that are from French authors. In this book, First Flight, um, I played with having the character going to several places, visiting different countries. I used an old photograph of Paris there to carry on the setting of the story. And then Art Deco French book covers cut up for the background. <laughs> L'idée c'était de, de, de prendre un personnage féminin principal et ensuite d'essayer de, 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 de faire de cette bande dessinée et de créer un univers confortable dans lequel les, les lecteurs se sentent bien, qu'ils soient un refuge et, et j'ai essayé de bâtir ça. Have you ever drawn a buffalo? No. 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 